You bitch, get out of here. Look, I can run all day. Just read a newspaper. Killer bees, uh, the evils of artificial sweeteners and soda pop, Roswell. It's all part of the government's propaganda plan. I might as well wear a satellite dish so they can beam their propaganda right into my brain. Come on, do you honestly believe the NSA's echelon system isn't already reading your emails and... extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins with the raw, uncooked organic vegetables. Just look at me. I can tear a phone book in half on my bare toes. In fact, that though, I can easily chop this desk in two half desks. Now this desk is made of two-inch thick composite wood woven as a mahogany veneer finish. It has three drawers and Knowing this station, it cost $100. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks, and now I shall make it so. Dragon stance. Hey, yeah! Oh! Oh, oh, that low! That low! I think I hurt my hand and my pinky's all bent the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, hey, Lazo, mockery will get you nowhere. I think I'm gonna hit you now. Oh, I breathe easily. Don't throw any tofu or bean curds at me. Okay, very funny, Lazo. though. It's easy to make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the feng shui in here. It's downright disgraceful. Yes, it makes you talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Lazo. That last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you dig him up from? The state loony bin? And that wacko you had going on about killer bees? What a moron. I mean, just read a newspaper. Killer bees. Uh, the evils of artificial sweeteners and soda pop, Roswell, it's all part of the government's propaganda plan. I might as well wear a satellite dish so they can beam their propaganda right into my brain. Come on, do you honestly believe the NSA's echelon system isn't already reading your emails and recording your phone conversations? It's all designed to frighten us so we don't complain about our rights being taken away in the name of fighting with whatever boogeyman they come up with today. Uh, well, I mean, you realize that the government listens to this station, and, and if they weren't paying particular attention to you before, they're probably going to be following you now. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, they already got me once, but never again. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Yeah. Free Kevin. All right, we're talking about short guys, killer bees, the Magna Carta, chit... Huh? Well, the red light on the wall is flashing, which means that the owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. This station, it feels like... You really very ugly. Hey, man, ain't you got a family to bore?
think you should go see a shrink, officer. Y'all cheat. Can't you chase somebody else? I'm every time.